Hey there, Heartbreaking Talks listeners. Today marks 4 months since the launch of my channel. If you enjoy my content, please drop a like to show your support. Let's get started. Story 1. My wife and I have been married for 7 years and together for 10. I am 37 and she is 32. Our marriage had been amazing until recently. We get into occasional disagreements like every couple, but for the most part, it has been loving, fulfilling, and happy for both of us. While not as frequently as before, we still share an active and healthy sex life. She is truly my goddess beautiful, smart, funny, etc., and I take great pride in the lifestyle that I provide for us. While I work anywhere from 40 to 60 hours per week, she is a part-time professor at a community college, as well as a yoga instructor her passion. Four months ago, I was rocked when I curiously peeked through her email. There was an exchange with a male name I didn't recognize. I opened the thread to find that this man was emailing my wife sex tapes of their affair while they shared explicitly sexual content. A rush of emotions came over me, but fortunately, I had hours to compose myself from the rage and formulate a plan before she got home. I felt as though I was blindsided. I could not stop watching the two videos and could not fathom that the life I had worked so hard to build with her could be taken from me. I packed, preparing to confront her and then leave for the night in order to sort things out on my own. I dropped a bomb on her and immediately she began to tear up and sob in front of me, admitting to it and profusely apologizing. I got upset, told her I would find another place to stay. Her crying went into hysteria. She was begging and pleading for me to stay. She called non-stop during the time I stayed at my brother's, leaving messages saying that she loved me and it was the biggest mistake of her life. After two weeks, I missed her, so I went home to reconcile. I kept asking her how she could do this to me and each time she replied with I don't know or it just happened. I found out that he was a 27-year-old professor at the college and began working in my wife's department months prior. I told her my trust would have to be earned back, but she had already come up with a plan to earn my trust back, including cutting the guy and changing jobs, allowing me to track her phone and car, giving me access to her email accounts, submitting to an STD test, and going to therapy. I could feel the deep remorse and her desire to reconcile. Since she has been grateful for the opportunity I have given her, held up her end 100%, and generally been a very pleasant and loving person to be around. But even with all this relationship progress, I cannot fight the constant pain and torment that comes from thinking of the details of her affair. The memory of the videos is burned into my brain, and feelings of pain, humiliation, and embarrassment overcome me. This has led to much stalled progress as I've harbored much resentment for my wife because of it. Their sex was completely unprotected, and he was well endowed. She did things with this man that we as a married couple have never done, like wear different lingerie and enthusiastically perform oral sex on him. It feels like a chore when she does it for me. What really hurts is that she had anal sex with him and swallowed his semen more than once. Those were two things that I asked her if she was willing to try in our relationship, and she would always detest, referring to them as gross or degrading. But words cannot describe how much she degraded herself in this video. It makes me sick to picture the disgusting things she did, like licking his anus or giving him oral sex directly following anal sex. But worst of all, she seemed more enthusiastic about all of it than she ever has about our sex life in 10 years. I have asked her why she would do such things and how she could do things with him that she refused with me. Her answer is always I don't know. I am constantly being ripped apart seeking an answer to this question. Needless to say, my self-esteem is shot. I saw with my own eyes that this man turned her on more than I have, and she had a much stronger desire to please him. This has caused us to have intimacy problems ever since. Since her answer is I don't know, it is always running through my mind that it was because my penis was too small, that I'm too weak, or that I was an inadequate lover. These thoughts and feelings scare me, causing so much emotional turmoil and built up resentment towards my wife. She is putting in such a strong effort, but my feelings don't seem to go away or lose intensity. I would like to know if anyone else has dealt with such a problem. Is it fair to myself or my wife to keep trying to work it out? Any help would be much appreciated as I feel like I am at my wit's end. Check out my new video about sugar mommies. Trust me, you like it haha. <laughs> Story 2. My 30-year-old girlfriend, 28F, of 7 years cheated on me and got pregnant. I just need someone to give it to me straight. I just need to get all of this off of my chest because I have no one to vent to in my personal life about this. 
I just need someone to read this and tell me what I need to do. Forgive me if this is long. So, her and I have been dating since 2015, and I love her. There's no doubt that I love her, and I know she loves me too. We're so integrated into each other's lives that it's hard to picture a life in the future without her. Let me back up a bit. For the last few years, our relationship has stagnated. It's had its ups and downs, surely, but the past few years have been neither particularly good nor terrible. We have had issues with intimacy, however, the chemistry wasn't there in the same way it had been in the past. This issue brought me extreme insecurity and anxiety, and understandably made her insecure as well. To cut a long story short, it got so bad that one day in July 2022, I got off of work, and all of her stuff was gone. She had bought a new house and told me I wasn't coming with her. I was devastated. I had to move back to my mom's house 100 miles away and rearrange my entire life without any notice. During that entire time, we remained in contact and began to slowly make up. I got inspired to make the changes I needed to patch up the relationship, and I was ashamed it took so much to get that going. Soon enough, I started doing really well. She's proud of me and happy with the strides that I'm taking. She won't let me visit her house, but we're going on dates and having sex more when we get time together. But she's getting visibly more depressed as time goes on. This puzzles me, and I get really worried about her. She starts having more issues with her health. Constant nausea, gallbladder surgery, and a false concussion at work. She's very overwhelmed, but I'm there for her, and I'm very stressed because she's always been depressed and is a busy person, so she always has a lot going on. So she's always balancing. Cut to about a month ago, her and I are having a very emotional discussion about the issues I've had in the past, and it's here she admitted to me that she had a miscarriage, and it wasn't mine. I was floored. She apparently had sex with this man pretty soon after I had moved out and got pregnant during the first encounter. And since she was already pregnant, she told me that she had sex with him at least twice more. This hurt me deeply and still does, but at the time, I knew I had been a pretty awful boyfriend in the past, and like I said, I love her so much and can't picture my life without her. So I thought this would be something I could work past. It would take time, but I thought that I could do it. Everything started making sense, all the health issues and various other events started fitting together. The fall at work was her going to the hospital for the miscarriage. It was just all lies, and I was entirely oblivious because I never suspected her to be capable of this. Now we jump to a few days ago. I call her to say goodnight, and this guy answers the phone, and I immediately know who it was. It turns out that during the pregnancy, she gave him a key to her house, which I've never set foot in, by the way, and he's been coming over periodically and flipping his shit at her for talking to me and laying his hands on her, not striking, but gripping her to the point of bruising. Immediately my biggest concern is her safety. I try to get her to stay at her mother's house, but she just won't. Mind you, she just got approved to move into a new apartment and is looking into renting out the house because of this scenario. In the meantime, she doesn't seem to think that she's at any sort of risk of harm, and we got into a huge fight about it tonight. At this point, I am just so exhausted of worrying about this person that deeply betrayed me. She's cried over it and talked about how much she's regretted this and how this was such a huge mistake that's caused a chain of events, etc, etc. I've always trusted her. I had never pinned her for a lie or a cheat, but I guess I drove her to that point. I believe she regrets, but this is such a giant mess now. I can't stop asking myself how did I get here. I don't think there's anything salvaging this, but I can't seem to let go. What do I do? Thank you, friends. I would like to ask for your support on my new channel, where I would be sharing funny stories that are sure to lift your mood. This would be the best gift for me in honor of my channel's 4-month anniversary. Cheers.